The Mavericks paying a visit to Boston for a play date with the Celtics in uh, a little bit of attention. I don't know if you saw this or not. Maybe not. Maybe you weren't watching. Uh, Don't worry. We watched. So you would not have to. It's our good mitzvah of the day, and I'd like to report you did not miss much. You did not miss much. You didn't miss a choke job. You did not miss a missed game-winning shot. You didn't make... Uh, You didn't get anybody making a game-winning shot. Uh, Jalen Brown had a mellow 22 points. Chris stops Porzingis from the bench with 20 points. And the Boston basketball team paddywhacked the Dallas basketball team 107-89 to in a game that was played there Thursday night at the Garden. And Derek White, he had 15 for the Seas. They led by as many as 29 points in the first half. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha. All those losers, they were like, oh, the Mavericks. The Celtics knocked down 16 three-pointers. Of course, they took 700, so you'd hope they'd make some of those as they power play their way uh, to a game one win, three wins away from uh, number 18 for the franchise. But the better story to start with is in the losing locker room. That is where the drama is, and that is where we begin. As we discussed, the question Blame. Who gets the blame? Texas toast for the Mavrex performance. What a pathetic bunch that team is in game one of the NBA Finals. So I've got the crying game, Irish Spring, and all-you-can-eat buffet. And we will combine all of these things together, and we are going to make a nice trip to Cancun, which is what the Mavericks are headed towards the way this is going. And not a celebratory trip to Cancun, just a trip to Cancun to try to get out of the the country, uh, get away from the noise. Now, A, the sound you heard, if you're listening closely, the sound you heard with about four minutes and ten seconds on the clock in the second quarter was a guffaw. It was a belly laugh because over 85% of the bets, not only from the public, but from the Sharps, were on Dallas. There was a consensus that the Mavericks were the right side here, and that's where you wanted to be. And as we have preached on the TV show Benny vs. the Penny and this radio program over the years, if the public is one way, you want to go the other because more times than not, you're going to win. doesn't always work out, but more times than not, you're going to win. And there's another example of that in game one of the finals. The Mavericks, there's really no other way to say it. They were guilty of absenteeism in game one. They were melee at the beginning of the game. And you could also call this the crying game, right? They cried. The Celtics cried uncle, as in Uncle Drew. What happened to that career renaissance? He's a new man, Kyrie Irving. Uh, Well, Kyrie was not only a basketball player, he was terrible. Okay, there's no other way to say it. And as we like to say in these parts, it wasn't a specific kind of suck. It was an all-encompassing type of suck is what it was. Kyrie Irving took 19 shots. He only made six of them. Ha, 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 Six of nine. That's 31%. How about the three-point shots? I right? probably made a couple of those. He took five of them, made none. Ha, 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 He made as many as you and I. 12 points on 19 shots. And a plus-minus of minus 19, which I believe was the worst in the game. What happened to the Boston hecklers motivating Kyrie Irving? Remember when some of the talking heads were like, oh, you, you Boston fans, you better not boo Kyrie. You, don't want, you do not want angry Kyrie. No, no, no. Where's Kendrick Perkins right now? He's probably eating. Uh, but also Luka Doncic. Let's not forget Luka. He gets some Texas toast of blame as well. A lot of dumb people who clearly did not watch the game. We call them idiots. Uh, like, Whoa, look at his final. He had 30 points. Come on, man, 30 points. What's wrong with you? Okay. So while Dallas was drowning, they needed a lifeguard. They fell behind by 29 points. In that stretch, Luka Doncic was 3 of 9 from the floor for 8 points, minus 18 while Dallas was down by 29. Then in what Marv Albert used to call garbage time, the old broadcaster. How did he do? How about this? Luca, 22 points, 8 rebounds. The Kyrie Luca partnership combined to have three assists. Luca had one.
Kyrie had two. They combined for seven turnovers in game one of the final. Now, I never played in the NBA, but I don't think that's good. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, I don't think you're looking for your top two players to have seven turnovers and three assists. Now, Paige did. Was the Celtics win all about Kristaps Porzingis, as many, many in the media are claiming right now? Now, I will preface this by saying the unicorn was great, clearly. For one night, it appears the pundits got it right. For one night. We maintain our position very stubbornly that Boston is so much better than Dallas from top to bottom that they would have won this game even without the 20 points from Christoph Sporzingis. And I can say that, and I'm not wrong because you don't know, and I don't know because they played the game with them, but you don't know what would happen. Other people would have had the opportunity to step up and get those 20 points. Now, the other question here is which green teamer is breathing the biggest sigh of relief from Game 1's victory. And that one's rather easy. JT, not JT the Brick, Jason Tatum. This victory was a bar of Irish Spring soap for Tatum. It helped cover up the stank of Jason Tatum. And had this game ended differently, and could have been another dimension, but the dimension we're in, it ended with Boston winning comfortably. Jason Tatum had 16 points on 16 shots. He thinks that's bad. He did have 11 rebounds, but he had six turnovers as well, just pretty much taking up space. The way it works, though, and this is why we almost always start in the losing locker room, when you win, all your sins are forgiven in victory. When you lose, not so much. All right, last word here. All right, you only get one chance to make a first impression. You probably heard that from your parents or whoever helped raise you, right? One chance to make a good first impression. Pretty important. So how big a deal is game one for the Celtics? Now you can look at history. Historically, the team that gets first blood in the NBA Finals has gone on to win the championship 70% of the time. 70%. And when it's the home team, we are told it's 79%. Boston, setting the mood, little mood lighting. They lit the candles, a romantic night there, playing footsie with the victory. So they're off to a great start, round one knockout, as that was it. Well, what about Dallas? They got back within eight. Whoopie damn do. Did you really think the Mavericks are going to come back and win the game? I didn't. And if you did, you're probably wearing your... Dallas Mavericks onesie right now. you got your pajamas on, and you're very excited. But I am not going to be a prisoner, a prisoner of the moment. I have learned my lesson over the years. Stats tell you what has happened, not what's going to happen, and this is a very small sample size. One game! That's all we have to base this on. But the Celtics, on my scorecard, they did what they were supposed to do. They were the better team. We all know that. Anyone knows basketball knows they're the better team here. And they... They win. So you don't get flowers for that. I mean, I don't get flowers. Maybe you get flowers. I don't. I don't get flowers for that. Uh, and now, over the next couple of days, because you've got a couple-day gap before game two of the finals, the Celtics will be fed an all-you-can-eat buffet of rat poison put on a pedestal surrounded by those media sycophants who will genuflect with their knee pads on, a mob of brown nosers and bootlickers who will give the Manny Petty treatment to the Celtic players. And the advice, which goes back 40 years, don't eat the cheese. It's poison. Don't eat the cheese. We'll see. you got to think it's going to be a closer game, too, in this series. 